Welcome back to Holy Pastor Doing Stuff, your one-stop shop for learning how to do life the holy way. This time, how to kill some mice. Now, recently I received some heat from some of my parishioners for posting a photograph of my very first mouse kill using a mouse trap. Thou shalt not kill, they said. Love all God's creatures, they said. Well, first of all, how dare they question me? If I'm doing it, that means it's holy, and I don't need to explain myself. So I won't. But I do need to give them some credit. Genesis chapter 1 talks about how God gave humans dominion over the earth and all of that. And that word dominion actually means to lovingly care for or, or to care for all that has breath. It doesn't mean that we humans should do whatever the heck we want to do whenever the heck we want to do it. And then of course there's that whole Noah's Ark business, saving the animals two by two, uh, and so almost, almost, one could believe that God wants us to actually care for mice as well as other things, but let me tell you that mice were never actually on the Ark's manifest. Those little clever critters, they, like they always do, just stowed away accidentally, not on purpose. God didn't plan for that. He's not omniscient when it comes to mice. Uh, they just stowed away on the ark, and now we have to deal with them forever. It was never part of God's plan. And, and God told me all of this, by the way, so it must be true. God also gave me a new commandment, kind of like how Jesus gave everyone a new commandment, God gave me a new commandment, it is this. Thou shall not let mice destroy the temple of your home. God gave me this home for a reason. It's mine. And it's all mine. And maybe the wife will have something to do with it, but once the mortgage is paid off, it's mine. Alright, so let's get to it. These little mousetraps, they're simple little things, but they're effective. They don't always work. In fact, uh, this trap I just took from downstairs, uh, with all of the peanut butter taken off of it, without a mouse in it. So, uh, they don't always work, but when they do, it's, it's pretty awesome to see those mice. <laughs> okay, so, uh, and there's one up in the attic already that we'll check on in a second that my wife put up there. Uh, so, we'll, we'll check it out. Uh, and, and when we think of mice, we think of cheese, right? But we, what you really want to do is you want to put peanut butter right all in there. Right on there. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing? Right all in here. Because you, you want them to have to touch this part. Okay? Peanut butter. It's delicious. It's much easier to apply as well. So once you get the bait on there, you're going to want to pull this bar back firmly, but carefully! Carefully, carefully, okay, all right, okay, you don't want that to happen, but you know what, it's all worth it, it's all going to be worth it to watch those mice die. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so you pull the bar back carefully, carefully, <laughs> no I'm just kidding, carefully, carefully. And then you put the rod in place, also carefully. This looks like it's been rusted out, so definitely carefully. And there we go. Okay, excellent. Now we're all set. Now when the mice touches that thing, the rod will come out, and the bar will, will kill it. <laughs> all right, so the best place to locate a trap, I don't need a script, so this isn't a script. Uh, come over here. The best place to locate a trap is where you know mice will go. Uh, along walls is usually good, but uh, I hear mice in the attic, so that's where I'm going. So, uh, first of all, my son's room is a mess. My, our attic is in my son's room. So I'm going to gently, gently place the mouse trap here while I climb up. To... 
I meant to do that, to, uh, to purposely talk about how I could build houses better. Who puts attics in their son's rooms? Who does that? Uh, so, uh, maybe next time I'll do on architecture. How to build a house all by yourself. DIY. Is it DIY? DIY. Nothing. All right. So, here we go. Here we go. Up here. Now remember, that lock is really flimsy, so if you need to do this type of thing, make sure you are safely maneuvering around the mousetrap, because it might cut your finger off. Or at least it feels like it. All right. I'm now opening the attic. It's already hot. Oh my gosh. Woo! Woo! All right, now I'm climbing up into the attic. Are you getting a picture of all this? I'm stepping on top of the step ladder, which is perfectly safe if you're holy. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's hot up here. I can't breathe. Wife, how did you put the How did you put the mouse trap up here earlier? <laughs> oh. Oh, and I didn't realize there are nails sticking out all over the place. Oh, it's tetanus city up here. When was the last time I got my shot? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, and there's nowhere to walk. It's just insulation. What? All right, all right, I can do this, I can do this. So uh, here's the thing, you can do it too. It's okay, it's okay, I wasn't planning on this, but it's okay. So I'm just gonna quickly find that other mouse trap so I can show you. Where is, oh, here it is, here it is. Oh, oh no, oh, oh, it caught a mouse. Oh, oh, it's gross. Oh, the poor, the poor little thing. Oh, it's, oh, it's cute little dead eyes. Oh, oh, what have I done? Uh, speaking of that, I'm done, I'm done. This is, uh, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. We're done. We're not doing this anymore. We're not doing this anymore. Oh, 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 it's at least 15 degrees cooler down here. I'm not even joking. All right, so that's how you kill mice. Or not, I guess. The holy way. I guess how you kill the mice, the holy way is to not kill mice. Uh, because, uh, in fact, in fact, I'm receiving, I'm receiving a divine, a divine revelation. God is giving me yet another commandment here, and it's, uh, and it's that killing or harming another living being might seem fun and give you a little bit of satisfaction, <laughs> but it's never worth it. It's never worth it. It's just not good. Not worth it. Love and harmony, man. Let's go back to those days. Love and harmony. Now I am off to my second job, cleaning up my son's room. Until next time, keep it holy, friends.